How's it going everyone? This is K Collection. So, Shimoza is finally here. Today we'll take a look at Assassin Paraiso. I'll break down her stats, skills, give some TE and team recommendations, as well as my overall opinion on whether we should summon this servant or not. Upon release, she has the lowest attack stats out of the 4 star assassins, but she has the highest HP. She's an arts focused servant with decent MP gains. Arts Quick Arts Brave Chain will generate about 30% charge. Her star gen is pretty average for an assassin, coming at 20 to 25 stars when using her quicks and buster. For active skills, assassin is a versatile servant with many different effects. NP skill is always great for delaying your inevitable death. Her second skill is best used with her NP attack, and lasting three turns you can hopefully recharge enough NP to use it again before the effects expire, especially when her third skill charges 30% NP. Speaking of her third skill, I personally dislike the charge being with her evasion. Unless the enemy has like a 6 turn NP charge, you'll typically save this for the dodge effect, making the NP battery charge a second thought. Essentially, that's wasting NP charges as ideally we want to use them right away to start the cooldown process early. Also, by the time you use her evasion to dodge NP attacks, she may already have a fully charged gauge. They should have placed the NP battery with the arts buff and switched the curse effect onto the third skill. Would have made a lot more sense that way, better synergy, and really no sacrifices in effects. Her Noble Phantasm is a single target that seals the enemy's skills and reduces their crit chance. I'd be careful with the skill seal. Yes, it's really helpful for more challenging quests, but sometimes an enemy using a skill can be the difference between a servant surviving or dying. By sealing their skills, the enemy's forced to attack three times if they're alone. If you perform an NP Arts Brave Chain, you can expect about 40% NP charge without skills or crits. Her overcharge isn't that great, so use her NP first within an NP chain. For CE recommendations, focus on boosting her arts along with other things like crit damage or NP strength. She only has two normal arts, so you want to improve other strengths to make her a bit more versatile. She can generate stars for crit damage and be consistent enough to use her NP multiple times in battle. One of the best would be Tranquility, it improves her main attack cards while helping with NP gains. On the other hand, if you want her to be a star generator without sacrificing any arts performance boost, Chocolatier can work. Alternatively, you can focus on NP and crit damage. With Supper, you can potentially turn 1 NP if you have a support servant that charges the remaining 20%. Glory is a bit more consistent since it's like a mini 2030. As with every arts focused servant, Tamamo is one of the best supports. Just be aware that you'll most likely be facing riders with assassins, so realistically, Tamamo isn't recommended, but if you're not facing riders for some odd reason, then go ahead, use Tamamo. She's great for NP spamming, and with both servants, you can delay NP attacks for a few turns. The cooldown reduction also gives more flexibility for Assassin's third skill. If you time it correctly, you can use it for the NP battery, yet have enough time to avoid NP attacks. Again, realistically, you're not going to use her on neutral class enemies, you're most likely going to use her against Rider class servants. In that case, team her up with other arts Assassin because you want deck synergy. With some servants you can perform combos with, like Kiritsugu's targetable taunt which can be used on Assassin, allowing you to survive single target NPs, or just use it as a way to avoid damage for a turn. Shuten has a lot of debuffs, specifically Defense Down which will help Assassin's damage output. Those are just some suggestions. Because she has two quick attacks, quick assassins like Jack or Fuma can work as well. So, my final thoughts on Assassin. She's alright, her abilities offer some utility. NP Seal and Skill Seal can be helpful, her NP gains are decent enough combined with a 30% NP battery, she has some spamming potential. Her star gens are overall good for an arts focused servant, this is thanks to her high hits on her two quicks. Her curse effect is a nice touch for extra damage, lastly, possessing an evasion is always good for survivability. Sadly, that's about it in terms of positives. She has several weaknesses, and these weaknesses are the reasons why I don't recommend her. Her damage is very low. Being the lowest upon release, it also doesn't help that her damage modifier is low thanks to her class. Also, this will affect her NP damage of course, I'll be completely honest with you. She isn't exactly my first choice for a DPS assassin among the 4 stars. Her NP effects are also quite lackluster, skill still for one turn is helpful, but you really have no control over what the enemy will do. Sometimes, they may use a useless ability, but now you're forcing them to attack. Finally, I mentioned this before, but her third skill is such a pain to use for timing. An amazing 30% NP battery, but it's connected to a one turn evasion. This forces you to make a sacrifice. Typically, you'll use it for the evasion since, you know, you don't want her to die. 
All these issues combined makes her less effective than already existing arts assassin. So I'd say, save your Saiyan course, she's more so a bonus if you're going after Musashi or Archer Inferno. Special thanks to all my patrons for supporting me. If you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon. So, who's your favorite assassin in FGO? Out of all of them, Serenity is forever number one. More than Gramps! Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fate content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join my Discord server. All links are in the description. Have an awesome day, everyone. Good luck on your summons. Till next time.